Jeff Hobbs graduated with a BA in English Language and Literature from Yale in 2002, where he was awarded the Willits and Meeker Prizes for his writing. He spent three years in New York and Tanzania while working with the African Rainforest Conservancy and now lives in LA with his wife, Rebecca, who grew up right here in Fort Greene. Much of their family is in the audience tonight, and so we're honored to host this event here in the neighborhood. His new book, The Short and Tragic Life of Robert Peace, a brilliant young man who left Newark for the Ivy League, is a story of the collision of two worlds. Robert Peace was Jeff's roommate at Yale, though their experiences were very different, and after graduation, their lives went in very different directions. Through an honest rendering of Robert's relationships with his struggling mother, with his incarcerated father, with his teachers and friends at Yale, and with his fellow drug dealers in Newark, the short and tragic life of Robert Peace encompasses the most enduring conflicts in America, race, class, drugs, community, imprisonment, education, family, friendship, and love. Fellow author Alex Kotlowitz writes, this book is an absolute triumph of empathy and of storytelling. Hobbes has accomplished something extraordinary. He's made me feel like peace was a part of my life as well. Trust me on this. Peace is someone you need to get to know. He will leave you smiling. His story will leave you shaken. Please join me in welcoming Jeff Hobbes. Uh, thanks so much, Hallie. Uh, and, and thank you all for, for being here. Uh, it's so nice to be in the neighborhood and see so many familiar faces. Uh, I've uh, been so supportive over the years, and it's even nicer to see, you know, the strangers who, who, uh, you know, came out to a bookstore on a Monday night. Uh, we live in Los Angeles, and it, it doesn't happen uh, quite this way on the West Coast. Um, I'm just curious how many of you here are friends with uh, my wife, Rebecca, or, or uh, Sugar or Martin. I raise your hand. Uh, yeah, that's it. Strong, strong showing. Thank you all. Uh, thank you guys for being such good friends to people. Uh, you know, my, my dad said uh, after Rebecca and I got married that uh, before I was part of this family, I didn't have a lot of friends. Um, and uh, he, was, he, he was absolutely right. Uh, but I had a few friends, and uh, one of them was named Rob Peace. His friendship was a gift given like... Uh, uh, most of the best gifts, uh, unsuspectingly, by being paired randomly as roommates freshman year at Yale. Um, also, Gift was being permitted to write uh, this story by, by his family. Um, early freshman year at Yale, uh, for reasons that are hard to fathom, uh, I was hired as a bouncer at the Yale Symphony uh, Orchestra Halloween concert. Uh, it tells you a lot about Yale, that it was one of the most highly anticipated social events of the year and that they, they needed a bouncer. Um, and I was supposed to keep this uh, side door closed from the inside. Uh, a guy from the heavyweight crew team, a pretty big guy, uh, also intoxicated as people get it, symphonies, uh, was, was uh, truly intent on exiting this way. He did not like being told that he couldn't. Uh, he ended up sort of tackling me, and we tumbled out the door and down some steps onto this crowded uh, plaza where, you know, the, the kids made some room for us. Uh, I didn't know how to be in a fist fight, and it was looking pretty grim, and more so when two of his teammates uh, joined him. Uh, so I was about to, to bite it pretty hard. Um, and suddenly, the, the, all three of them sort of backed away, uh, turned around, and, and walked off. Uh, I think the first guy gave me the finger over his shoulder or something. Um, and now I'm feeling like quite the heavy, and I, I turn around with my uh, chest puffed out. Uh, and that's when I saw Rob was standing behind me. He'd, he'd seen what was uh, about to happen, and he'd come down. Um, Rob was not a fighter, but he, he did know how to fight, you could tell. By the way, he planted his feet. Um, but all he'd had to do was show up to send three guys on their way. Um, I'd only known him for two months at this point. Uh, was maybe a little surprised at the support. Grateful for it, but, but surprised. Uh, I thanked him. Uh, he patted me on the shoulders if I'd done something besides flail my arms pathetically. Uh, and he said, you know, I got your back. 
Um, and that was Rob Peace. He had everyone's back. Now, if he hadn't shown up, uh, I would have come away with some bruises and wounded pride and my bouncing career rightfully terminated. Um, and I, I've never bounced since, so I guess it was. But where Rob grew up, uh, if you saw a friend getting into it with a stranger and he didn't help, he knew that friend uh, could easily end up in the hospital or in jail, uh, and worst case, uh, maybe in the ground. Uh, I could tell you an awful lot about how and where Rob grew up in a neighborhood outside Newark nicknamed uh, Ill Town. Uh, his single mother working very, very hard for, for not much money in mostly in kitchens, his father incarcerated for double murder, uh, crack and, and its violence of the 80s, just sort of outside of the front door. Um, it was a, a place where, you know, kids playing football had to be on their guard at all times, and uh, Rob grew up to be a pretty guarded guy. It was a place where uh, a dangerous few people valued human life a lot less than they valued money. Uh, it was a place where it was harder to be smart than it was to be fatherless because a lot of people were fatherless and they could relate and they cared, but uh, um, not too many people cared how smart he was. Uh, and in fact, a, a number of people resented him for it. It was a place where friendship was as important as family. It was a place where uh, when Rob went to Burger King with his best friends from high school, they called themselves the Burger Boys uh, with a Z. Uh, he would grab a dozen or two dozen ketchup packets from the bin uh, instead of buying himself a burger for lunch. Um, Rob matriculated at Yale via a rare and delicate interplay of incredible intelligence, uh, work ethic, uh, sacrifice, luck, great teachers, and above all, being born to a tremendous mother in Jackie Peace. And uh, not many of you, if any of you, know Jackie Peace, but if you read this book, you will. And I think you'll want to celebrate her. And I was hoping we could sort of get a round of applause for, uh, for Jackie here. Uh, and thank you. Thanks, that, that means a lot, and she deserves it. I, I spent the day with her on Thursday. We were at Rob's High School, uh, and she was surrounded by teachers, his old teachers and colleagues, uh, telling her how much her son matters there, uh, how important this story is, uh, how much he can teach people. Uh, and later, when she dropped me off at the train station, I said, uh, uh, you know, Jackie, uh, the one thing I hear from every single reader I talk to is uh, how much you can teach people and what an inspiration you are and you'll help people become better mothers and she said uh huh okay uh, which is um if uh if rob brought any psychic baggage or burdens with him to yale uh, they were not apparent and i don't think he was hiding them actively out of uh say pride and certainly not embarrassment i just think that uh he didn't see any need to qualify his presence in New Haven as some sort of triumph against the odds. Uh, I mean, it was that, but, uh, but acknowledging that is already a signal of, of not belonging. And Rob belonged. He, he was an A student in molecular biophysics and biochemistry, which is about as easy as it sounds. Uh, he and I bonded first over the uh, irony of me being a white guy from the country who ran sprints for the track team. Uh, Rob was a black guy from uh, the hood, as he called it, who played water polo. Uh, he was captain of the team for two years. Uh, initiation found him wearing a toga in the dining hall singing Madonna's Express Yourself. Uh, and I wasn't there, but I heard he, he gave it his all. Uh, he was popular and uh, picked for one of those coveted secret societies. Um, he had tattoos and cornrows. And it's interesting that a number of, of reviewers have extracted those two details to suggest that he was uh, alienating himself on purpose. Um, but I think of his tattoos, he had a uh, like a sphinx on his 